Hi, Sharon McCrum here from the Walport Public Library coming to you today, actually tonight, with a constellation video from the Walport Library for kids. I want to give a good shout out to some young friends of mine, Oma and Lily and Denora and Samantha and Z and to thank some of them for my wonderful planet mask. Now I can really have a star mask face mask, I guess you'd say. It's wonderful. So thank you very much for that. Now let's talk. I wanted to tell you that this week I got to have a really cool Zoom meeting with a group of librarians across the country who are all talking about different ways we can bring information to you from the Lunar and Planetary Institute StarNet webinar and called Bringing the Stories of the Skies to Your Library. So I'm going to be coming up with some new and interesting ideas to share things about space with you when we imagine our story this summer. And starting now, if you're working on your summer reading program, which I hope you are. I also want to tell you there's a great app that you can get for your phone called Skyview. You might try that out because you can see the constellations so clearly. Today, I have one more thing to show you though. Look at this, last week we planted our little grass monsters and look at mine. If you've done yours, I hope that you have a nice hairdo like I do on mine. It needs a little water tonight. Thank you. Now, I bet some of you have been feeling a little spacey lately, right? You've got all this toilet paper around and toilet paper rolls and maybe paper towel rolls that you wonder what to do with it. So I cut this one into three parts and from a Steam Kids project in this book, we are going to make our constellation tubes. Okay, so what you need is you're going to need one of these, and they're really cool. You can pick these up at the Umpqua Bank building, where you can pick up books through the drive through from the Walport Library, but we also have these there for you. And there are nine different constellations on them, including Orion the Hunter, Ursa Major, the Great Bear, Cassiopeia, Andromeda, Ursa Minor, Sagittarius, Hercules, Cancer, and Pegasus. Today, we are working with Ursa Major the Great Bear, okay? Now, I took mine and I cut it out and I used some duct tape. I spread my duct tape out. Like so. And I put it down flat like this. In fact, I'll just show you with another one really quick. You don't need much with this, and you could use colored duct tape too if you want to instead of just traditional. It comes in a lot of great colors. Okay, so I am going to cut out Cassiopeia. Like this. And then I'm going to put it right here, like this. See? Okay. Then I'm going to take a push pin and push it through the dots. Make it nice holes in those. Okay. Okay. Then that. I'm going to take my good roll, the best one here. I'm going to put it right over the top of it, flat like this. All the way around. And I'm going to take some more tape. You don't want any light to get inside of it if you can help it, except the light you want. Okay, now on this one, as you see, I also took the information and I taped it on so I'd know which one it is. Then, see it's all done. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to study this constellation. I'm going to take, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to take this phone with the light 
and I'm going to put it flat like this. Now, hold on for a minute because we're going to turn out the light. Okay, now let's bring that in so you can see what it would look like from the top here. Okay, there you go. Now let's look at it on the ceiling. Can you see that? Now, you can use the light from your phone, or you can use a single bulb flashlight. Don't use a multi-bulb, though, because then you'll just get lots of different bulb reflections. You need one bright light. Okay, and then you can start memorizing your Ursa Major and be able to see it in the night sky. Thank you so much, videographer. So we're going to turn our light back on. Okay, isn't that cool? So you could end up making nine of these. And then you can try that out. And that app I was telling you about called Skyview, you can get that and it can explain all sorts of things to you. And remember at the library, we have lots of books on space too. And I encourage you to have lots of fun getting ready with your summer reading program and reading books that you really care a lot about and study what you love. And I'm so happy to hear that you're back studying at school, too. So enjoy your time, and thanks for being with us today. Stay spacey. Good night.